B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. So by the end of this video, you will be able to sing just like that. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Omar Lakani here. So in today's video, we're gonna be learning a new uh, uh, topic, which is uh, learning French alphabets in English. So uh, we're basically I'm gonna be teaching you the pronunciation of it and uh, some examples of them. So first of all, a, a in French we pronounce it as a. A good example of it is avion, which means airplane in English. Now, let's proceed to the other one, which is b. Now b is basically pronounced as b, like b. So there's also another good example of it, ballon, which means balloon, but it depends. It can be balloon or a ball. Okay, now. Let's proceed to the other one, the letter C. Now the letter C is basically, we pronounce it like as in English. So say, like uh, you said something, like say something. And, uh, so yeah, we just pronounce it as C, C, not say. Another good example of it is citron, which means lemon. Now, let's proceed to the other one, which is the letter D. Now the letter D is pronounced as day. Now here it is written as day, like um, like a normal day or I don't know. So day, but in French we pronounce it as d, d. Like it's not from d, it's d. And a good example of it is dauphin, which means dolphin. Now in uh, uh, e, the letter e in French we pronounce it as e. So uh, a good example of it is escargot which means a snail in uh, English, but um, in French we call it escargot. So yeah, it's different. Now F. F, we pronounce it as F2. So, so, so some of the letters in the alphabet are pronounced uh, like uh, basically the same in English. So F, yeah, so F, L, for example, M, N. So these are all letters of English too. So some of them are the letters of English and a lot of them are um, French letters. So let's proceed to the other one which is J. Now J we put, we pronounce it as J this I, like I said it before. Now uh, an example of it is gâteau which means cake in English. Now H. Now H we pronounce it as ash. Ash. Here it's written ash but it's ash. Just say it ash like ash or but just say it like ash like here avion a instead of saying a you say ash now a good example of it is ibu which means owl okay now i i we pronounce it as e i we pronounce it as e so a good example of it is il which means island in english now let's proceed to the other one which is J. Now J we don't pronounce it as English. We pronounce it as J. So this one was J, J but this one is J. Like in English we say a G but this one is J. Like this one is kind of like the opposite of it so you gotta get like uh, get the hang of it. So yeah so just pra continue practicing these letters so to avoid getting uh, like confused you know j g and g j like that's confusing isn't it now let's proceed to the other one which is k now k we pronounce it as ka in french so a good example of it is kangaroo a uh, kangaroo which means kangaroo <laughs> now l l so we pronounce it same, like uh, just like F, uh, like uh, in English, we pronounce it as L. Now a good example of it again is livre, which means book. Now M, same thing goes for the M, we pronounce it uh, like, like in the English language. So a good example of it is mouton. Now let's proceed to the letter N. Now it's also pronounced as uh, like same um, in English so N so a good example of it is nuage which means clouds now O so O the letter O is also pronounced O now an example of it which is ordinateur 
ordinateur means laptop or computer. Now, P. Uh, sorry, P. Yeah. So the letter P is pronounced as P. Just like pay me something like pay, pay, yeah. Like in English it's pay, but in French like it's um, pay, you know, like the pronunciation. Now, a uh, good example of it is poisson, which means fish. Okay, now let's proceed to the other one, which is Q. Now Q, uh, here it is written as Ku, but uh, yeah, it's not pronounced as Ku. Actually, it's pronounced as Q. Yeah, so yeah, so here, like for example, key, key, which means like a bowling pin, you know, let me point it, yeah, this bowling pin, like you just hit, hit them to score points, obviously, no, yeah, so ku, it's not pronounced as ku, it's pr pronounced as ku, so r, r, here it's written as air, but air, it's not air, it's er, it's er. So a good example of it is risa. So you just gotta say e, e i makes it e, and then r makes it er. So basically in French we don't pronounce it like this in English. So in English we use r, but in French we use it from the throat. So er, not from the mouth. R, er. Now s. Now the letter s is same pronounced like in English s now, a good example of it is soleil which means sun now t we pronounce it as so here it's written t but it actually it's t so uh, t in, in English we pronounce it t like this but in French we pronounce it like this like that and a good example of it is tortue which means turtle in English and then U now you now you we pr here it's written U but in reality it's U so we pronounce it as U and also the H is silent so we only said U now a good example of it is R which means one like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten etc now V now V in, in in French is uh, different. Here it's red red and V, which is correct. Yes, it is red and V. So you basically pronounce it as V, V like. Uh, so an an example of it is vash, vash, which means cow, just like the image just provided in here. Now W, it's now W W U, it's W. It's uh, pronounced as double V. Now double. In French means double. Now V means the letter V. The letter V here. So it basically means double V forms W. Look, V, and then you add another V. It forms a W, doesn't it? But in English we do we pronounce it as double U, not double V. So double U. So double U also forms as W. But in French. Double V um, forms double V, double V, double, double, which means double V. The letter V, the pronunciation of V. It's simple as that. Now let's proceed. Let's proceed to the X. Now X we pronounce it as here. It's written X, which is also correct. We pronounce it as X, like cheeks. So you just remove like CH, it becomes X. So a good example of it is xylophone, which is basically a uh, musical instrument. Now let's proceed to the other one, the other um, alphabet of French, which is Y. Now Y is pronounced very differently compared to um, English. Now Y we pronounce it as Y, but in French it's different. Y, Y, like look. E and then you just add grec. So E, grec, like E, the letter E, where is it again? Yeah, E, and then you just add like grec. Now you don't, you don't say E, grec, like that's in English, the pronunciation. But in, uh, to make it like the pronunciation in French, uh, we need to pronounce it uh, with the throat, throat. So E, grec. Voila. Now, 
Let's proceed to the final letter of the alphabet in uh, French with also the final example. Now, Z. In English, we pronounce it as Z or Z, but in French, we also pronounce it as Z. Now, a good example of it, just like, um, just like in English, in zebra, so we pronounce it, uh, 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 the example is zebra, which means zebra. And yeah, guys, uh, I hope you liked this uh, tutorial uh, and had fun learning French alphabets in English, their pronunciation and examples. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell too so that you, so that you won't miss any of my videos. And yeah, guys, have a nice day. Bye.